We do begin tonight with another milestone reached in Utah's goal of bringing an MLB team to town. Yes, as a group led by the Miller family narrowed down where the potential stadium will be. ABC 4's Jonathan May joining us live in Salt Lake City at the possible site and joins us with more on this story. Jonathan. That's right, Emily Bryan, leaders from Big League Utah are looking at the Salt Lake City Power District as their potential site for Utah's potential MLB team. They say it's 100 acres shovel ready right between the Salt Lake City International Airport and downtown. But a few steps still need to happen before an MLB team can call Utah its home. We, we've proven that we, we, we're a big league market and, uh, and uh, that we're, we're a place where a, a franchise could thrive. During Governor Cox's monthly press conference, he shared his excitement about Utah's chances of being home to an MLB team and was asked what he thinks the team should be named. I don't have any team name suggestions. That, that is by far the most controversial question I've gotten asked today. As far as the team's home, here's concept art of the potential stadium. The site would have views of the downtown skyline and the Wasatch Mountains. We're right there along the Jordan River and there's a lot of potential uh, to create some outdoor plaza space. To help make this dream a reality, today Big League Utah announced two advisory boards. The first board has Larry H. Miller, company owner Gail Miller. It also features several local elected leaders, including Governor Spencer Cox, Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall, and more. The second board consists of local business leaders and community leaders. We understand that as the Major League Baseball team who will vote on expansion looks at our state and at our market, we know that we have to show that we are a unified front and that we have strong public support and political and decision maker support. Still no word yet on what the team would be named, but the Salt Lake Gulls or Seagulls have been talked about by fans. So we're starting to see some front runners, but we don't want to get ahead of the MLB process in naming a team yet. Right now, Big League Utah says the effort to bring a team to Utah will take multiple years, and MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred has expressed the desire to expand to 32 teams from 30 teams. But he's first said the Oakland A's and the Tampa Bay Rays need to be settled into their new stadiums first. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Jonathan May, ABC4 News.